pulled off in this parking lot to go ahead and do a walk around on this truck here we got up at maple motors check out my website maplemotors.com you can see all of our inventory also 100 detailed pictures financing and shipping information today we're going to be walking around a 1970 f100 pickup truck it does have the 5.0 fuel injected motor and it runs great we run a test drive here. Everything's working inside the truck as it should. Uh, go and check that out to see which gauges aren't working uh, and you know, see how she runs and drives. This one's got four wheel disc brakes with updated wheels and tires. Gives it a good look. Dual exhaust out the back. And it says, at Screaming Chicken, we're not satisfied until you're satisfied. <laughs> got some custom pinstriping going on with the Ford in the back it looks pretty good got the bed cover on here see if we can open it up and look inside the bed extra parts in there bed's not too bad there Definitely gotta have uh, chip scratches, there's holes. Not really a ton of rust. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I try to post videos every day. See, they've welded up this bumper in the front here. Kind of gave it its own look. The grill looks awesome. Old Ranger. Some rust popping up here. See the bubbles coming through. Checking the bottoms of the doors. Same things happening on this side. A few little bubbles. All the way back this way. A little crack in the paint down at the bottom. Lots of little holes. Looks like they had something strapped up on there. I may be wrong, maybe trim. They did the same with this back bumper back here. There's a scratch in the back here. Bottom of this door has got a few spots. All right, made it all the way around. Let's go ahead and hit up the interior now. Interior looks really good. They put the dash cap on it. They haven't bolted it down, but it's sitting on top. The seat's been replaced. Carpet's been replaced. Headliner shouldn't be white, but you know, it's not bad. Kind of makes it feel open. Looking around the door. The panel looks good. Bottom of the door is not bad. Weather stripping. Been on here a little while, but it's still soft. We'll go ahead and start her up. Okay, on this one, make sure you push up on that shifter. I may have to have two hands. All right, so I'm gonna stick you to the window and show you. It's got a safety switch. 
Oh, didn't want you looking at the sky. Hopefully y'all can see this. So pull up on this, turn your key. It's like a safety switch. It's just gotta be pushed all the way up. It won't start there, it'll start there. I'm gonna get y'all back off the window. Hopefully easily, there we go. And then shake you around. Go ahead and place your bets. Do you think the horn works? You could do that at home. The wipers do work. They're kind of finicky though. I cut them on earlier and I don't know exactly where off is. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's there. But it may go one more time. I kept having that problem. Alternator gauge is just bouncing around like crazy. Fuel gauge was moving and showed that it was working. Your oil pressure is not hooked up and your tip gauge looked like it was working because I believe it was on cold when we took off. RPM seemed to be correct. Your radio does work and your blower motor also works. Down here in the floor, what we got? Receipts on the truck. That's good to have. Lots of extra parts. Down hook pad. All them holes that were on the outside of the truck. There you go. You got hooks and straps. Outside rear view mirror assembly. Just some extra goodies for you. Go home, go ahead and start putting stuff together. Let's check it out. Tell me that don't sound like a Mustang. I have a little spot on the screen. Let me wipe it off. Hopefully that wasn't on there the whole time. Because I don't have much time with this rain overhead of me. The hood does shut down nice and smooth. It just latched. So it's got some holes or some trims missing. It does not look bad. Why don't we give y'all some undercarriage shots and we're gonna get out of here. Cause it may just come a downpour on me here in a moment. And I gotta finish the test drive video. I'm gonna start up here in the front, driver's side, rear and passenger side, and we'll call it. Let's look under there. I do appreciate y'all watching. If you don't mind, hit up maplemotors.com for finance and information, shipping, wheels, tires, parts, and accessories. We'll try to help you out. We got a brief description on all of our cars and all of our inventory is located on that website. If you don't mind, hit the subscribe button. I post videos every single day. We do our best to get all of them out before they go through the lot. All right, guys. I appreciate it. Y'all have a good one. Thanks.